Hi, my name is Albert and I'm the CEO of Kadana. Kadana allows businesses to pay anyone anywhere in Africa. Our vision is to build a world where African workers have a clear path to financial success. We're starting out with a cross-border payroll solution. Through Kadana, businesses can hire compliantly across Africa. We help them to mitigate against breaking local labor laws and making statutory payments with errors. We also allow businesses to fund their payroll accounts in their local currencies and make payments to about 50 plus current countries internationally. Because employees across Africa spend through multiple payment channels and also use different currencies, tracking employee spend across borders is very stressful. We make it easy for finance teams to see all of the employee expenses in one place and manage that seamlessly. We have a lot of operational overhead uh, because of our cross-border nature of our business. Uh, and so with a hundred businesses in different countries, managing that is very time consuming from onboarding to resolving issues, to uh, implementing features and managing those feature requests. And because we also disperse payments all across Africa and globally, we work with different payment service providers and we have to make sure that we have good liquidity and that payments can go through at any point in time. Doing that is very, very hard. And we're also constantly growing, we evolve in, we're trying different billing methods and we're trying to see how we can evolve that over time without necessarily putting too much pressure on the engineering team. But doing that manually is a waste of time for the entire team. On the product side of things, we're aiming to move very fast. And to do that, we have to take user feedback and iterate and test new ideas. Prior to Retool, we had no dashboards to learn about our feature utilization. Um, AML, KYC, KYB management was very messy. It was also very time consuming for our marketing team to try new things, such as referrals and build notification triggers. Um, and so all of this was a bottleneck to our operations and, and marketing team. But luckily Retool came around. Retool allows us to build critical tools without necessarily adding too much work to the dev teams. And so we have been able to build uh, business customer dashboards to see all of our businesses in one place, um, accounts to manage all of the different currencies in all different businesses. We can see uh, information about users, and now we can actually manage our treasury and liquidity seamlessly through Retool. For specific features that we want to dive into, uh, Retool allows us to also build dashboards and also generally manage our customer support. So I'm going to go in quickly and share some of our favorite tools in Retool. Uh, the first here is uh, what we call our earned wage access dashboard. So Kadana has this cool feature that allows workers to access a portion of their salaries early instead of waiting until the end of the month. Through this dashboard, we can now filter by country. Um, for example, we can see data about Ghana or Nigeria. We can select a particular time range. Um, and with a statistic drop um, tool, we can see various things like revenue and, and track the average amounts that people are moving on the platform. But one of the things that we really, really love about Retool is we can represent data very visually without too much work. So we've put in a lot of charts now that allows us to see the transactions that are happening in real time and the variety of charts, right? So we can now see uh, data on a transactions level. We can also break it down on a business level. And we can even see here a breakdown of the, of the different channels that employees are using to request their money early. Um, when you couple that with tables and other um, UI tools that allows you to drill down for a business or a particular user, it's just amazing, right? And so with this, we're able to actually see how users are interacting with this feature and we're able to make additive um, changes to make that experience even better. And outside of charts, we have built um, tools that allows us to also track information um, across the various businesses we serve. And so now um, our customer support and our operations team can come to this app. They can see a particular business. They can take some actions that would have otherwise required a dependency on engineers. Um, they can go down and see details about accounts, transactions, 
that are happening on a business level. So this is extremely nice, again, because there's no dependency on the generic team and they can come in and do the actions as they want. One of the things that we love about Retool is you can actually uh, aggregate different uh, apps, right, in the same sort of view. And so when an operations member logs in, they don't have to uh, move to different apps, they can just toggle. So for example, if you wanted to now see information about accounts, which allows us to track balances in each multi-currency uh, account, you can easily toggle that to the accounts app. So over here, we can select a particular account. We can see balances. We can understand the activity that's going on in that account. And we can also see transactions that are happening in that account. And on the user level, we can also uh, now search for users by different uh, methods. So we can search by tag, we can search by user ID, by email, and even the phone numbers. And this is incredibly helpful because when a customer support query comes in, now the customer support team has the tools, right, that they can use to resolve any issues. One of the things that we can see here is when we click, we click a particular user, we can see a timeline of all of the information and all the things that the user has been doing in the app. We can also see any disbursements and we can track any failed disbursements um, for that user. So that's pretty cool. Um, when you see a particular disbursement, um, over here, we don't see any issues, but you can actually click a disbursement and it's going to move you over to the disbursement app. In order to uh, view exactly what is happening with a particular disbursement, our team is able to click on that payment. They can go down here and see a timeline of what is happening with that transaction. And so over here, we see that that transaction is in the appended state. We can see um, who is, uh, which of our payment providers is, is really causing this issue. We can see where the money is coming from and where the money is also going. And this information is very contextual, right? It can now guide this customer support team to reach out to the engineering team with specific information to help resolve that issue. And so we're very, very excited about Retool. Um, we believe that it has improved our efficiency by about 5X.